But first, that absolutely staggering hike in petrol prices being announced just a couple of hours earlier. Petrol will now cost 7 rupees 50 paise more that uh, hike comes into effect at midnight. So in Delhi, you will now be paying 73 rupees 14 paise per litre for petrol. In Mumbai, that goes up to 78 rupees 34 paise. In Kolkata, you'll be paying 77 rupees 53 paise for every litre of petrol. In Chennai, 77 rupees for every litre of uh, petrol. Well, uh, already uh, a lot of political reactions coming in to that big story. Are we going to see a rollback? the allies as well as the opposition taking on the government at this point. Let's just listen in to some of those voices. We are really sorry. कल हाउस साइन डाई हुआ और आज का ये काफी बढ़ोतरी हो गई पेट्रोल के कीमत में और लगातार बढ़ ही रहा है रुकने का नाम नहीं लेता यूपीए ने आम आदमी के ऊपर कुठारा घात किया है पेट्रोल की कीमत को बढ़ाकर भारतीय जनता पार्टी इसकी घोर निंदा करती है हम ये मानते हैं कि आम आदमी की बात करने वाली कांग्रेस आज आम आदमी से दूर हो गई our leaders will be on the street protesting against this uh, undemocratic anti people move of the government and oil marketing companies petrol ki price deregulate ki ja chuki hai sarkar ne ki hai aur oil companies apne faisle karne ke liye azad hai I'm joined tonight uh, by Keshav Rao, senior leader of the Congress, Nalin Kohli, national executive member of uh, the BJP, also joining us uh, tonight on this discussion, Nilotpal Basu of uh, the CPIM. We'll also have uh, other guests uh, with us tonight. Uh, but Keshav Rao, if I can begin with you. Um, I don't want you to uh, uh, speak on behalf uh, of the government at this point. Uh, you've also actually refused to answer any questions, I believe, on the fuel price hike. But I do want to ask you at this point, is the Congress party going to actually ask the government for a rollback? Because it has done so in the past. Well, the Congress party has its own working committee where I was a former member. No, I don't know what they will do. But nonetheless, this decision has certainly has... Uh, surprises most is not a welcome decision, but nonetheless, looking at what is happening to our rupee, looking at what is happening to our current account deficit, looking at what is happening to our inflation pressures, looking out of what exactly worldwide and their pressures impact on us, perhaps the government has taken, has agreed, consented to the pressure of the private companies, oil companies. Let me make it clear here without uh, making any uh, policy commitment, commitments or comments, that the petrol is our decontrolled thing. At the same time, it does not mean the government has no role to play. They do ask us for the last four or five months, they have been pressurizing because of their, uh, their losses. Now, they either wanted subsidies to be increased or they wanted the, their own right to be used so that they increase. So we have resisted it. They have, the government has fought against it. But now looking at the rupee and other things, and looking to their helplessness as far as the decontrolled commodities and their policies are concerned, economics are concerned, they might have agreed. Now it is for us to look as to how do we see that there is no cascading effect of this, how it does not uh, affect the poor man, what would the state government should do. These are the policy details, micro uh, details, which this uh, government I think would be looking to do it. 
micro details that I think the entire country will be wanting to hear more details of tonight. Mr. Rao, I will come back to you in just a while, but uh, let's go across to our economic affairs editor, Shweta Rajpal Kohli now. Shweta, this was something that uh, was possibly inevitable. We heard the oil minister ye yesterday talking about uh, that increasing oil import bill as the rupee falls further. Uh, but did anyone quite expect to see such a staggering petrol price hike? Petrol is a deregulated product. That statement from the finance minister perhaps explaining the reason for the steepest ever petrol hike that we're seeing of seven and a half rupees. Clearly, what Pranam Mukherjee is trying to drive home is the fact that oil marketing companies technically have the freedom to align the prices of petrol with market prices, which means they're supposed to pass it on completely to consumers and not give any subsidy on petrol. But remember, even petrol deregulation has been a farce. The government has not allowed these oil marketing companies to go ahead and hike petrol prices since November, which is why we had seen tremendous pressure coming from the oil marketing companies that at least of the four uh, petroleum products, which is petrol, diesel, LPG, and kerosene, they should allow the petrol price hike to go through which they assumed would be least politically sensitive because touching the other three products will obviously mean political harakiri at this point in time. So the timing of this hike is critical because remember it's coming at a time when we are seeing massive rupee devaluation. Every time the rupee slips by uh, by, by one rupee, we are we, what we see is a, a direct impact of 8,000 rupees uh, uh, for the oil marketing companies and we've seen what has happened to the rupee hitting record lows each and every day for the last few sessions that we've seen. That, that apart, we've of course seen oil marketing companies having some sort of gains with oil prices coming off the highs and that's something that naturally the opposition and the allies are likely to bring up that why is it that, that uh, this has been allowed now when oil prices may have come off. But remember, for the oil marketing companies, it's not just petrol. They're suffering huge losses on the other three products. 14 rupees a litre, for instance, on diesel is the kind of subsidy that is being given close to 500 rupees on LPG. So in fact, uh, the government that is under tremendous pressure to cut the fiscal deficit and trim its subsidy bill, a, a, a statement that was also made by the finance minister in the budget that he will be trimming the overall subsidy bill and bringing it to 2% of GDP. There was uh, uh, enough reason for the government to allow oil marketing companies to go ahead with this steep hike, uh, given the fact that time is really running out with the government to take some of those bold decisions, even though they're tremendous politically sensitive so good economics and bad politics we'll have to wait and see but enough rationale there for economically at least for this petrol price hike to go through what of course remains to be seen is whether states are going to step in and actually reduce the tax the taxes uh, on petroleum products to ease the burden on consumers and that's something that should pan out over the next few days uh, uh, because that's something that that should really kick in because it's not just the center but even the states that make windfall gains as and when oil prices rise but for now oil marketing companies clearly relieved uh, obviously the public at large uh, and uh, the political parties they're not very happy with that decision back to you do you have the indie tv profit app all the markets all the news and your own homemade ready-made portfolio available there for you we will right now answer what you should sell what you should buy when markets are down download at indietvprofit.com slash apps Get the best app from the channel you trust.